So because I've gotten asked this question so many times, today we are talking about the differences and the similarities between the OrCam Read and the OrCam My Eye. Hopefully this information will help someone make the decision of which device might be the best option for them. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. So yes, sometimes people are a little confused about what the differences are between the OrCam Read and the OrCam My Eye. And because of this, it's a little difficult to make the decision which device to get. So that's what we're talking about today. First, let's talk about hardware, which is like appearance, how you use it, all of that. So these guys are similar in appearance, but also very different. Uh, a lot of people have said that they remind them of flash drives or thumb drives. And yeah, that's totally true, especially with the OrCam My Eye. This guy definitely looks like a little flash drive. Uh, it's about the size of a lipstick container. The reed is larger. Uh, still similar shape, but larger than the My Eye. This one always reminds me of a large black magic marker. Then as far as other hardware that they have in common, uh, they both have cameras built in. This is how they take pictures of printed text and read it out loud. They both have a built-in LED flash. They both have rechargeable batteries. They both can be equipped with a lanyard like this. And they're both black, I guess, same color. Some of the differences though, firstly, is the way you use it. The OrCam Read has physical buttons here, and that's the main way that you interact with the device is by clicking the buttons. That's how you take the pictures, turn up the volume, all of that. It's also a handheld device. So you hold it in your hand, you point it at the text, and you take the picture. The My Eye is not a handheld. I mean, I guess you, you could hold it in your hand and take it take the picture, but it's really designed to attach to a pair of glasses. You get these little brackets and these brackets can go on whatever glasses you want to put them on. A nice benefit also is they can go on either side of the glasses, so left side or right side, and then it magnetically attaches to that bracket and it's a very strong magnetic connection and then you can control it in a couple different ways. Uh, firstly, it has a touchpad on the side here, and so you do swipes and taps to control it. So a tap will take a picture, you swipe forward to turn up the volume, you swipe backwards to turn down the volume, so on and so forth. You can also do hand gestures. So if I point at text, it will see my finger and it will trigger the camera and it will take a picture of the text. There's other gestures. You can look at your wrist and it will tell you what the time is. Uh, there's several gestures that you can do. And then finally, both devices also have voice commands. And in fact, both also have the brand new Hey OrCam feature. This is a really cool way to interact with your device. Uh, you can say Hey OrCam and it will wake up the device and then you can give further commands like read faster, read slower, volume up, volume down, smart reading, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Okay, so that was it for hardware. Once again, if you wanna learn more like how long the batteries last and things like that, definitely check out my other videos. But now let's talk about software and features. Both devices, the Read and the My Eye, are running OrCam's fantastic software, their OCR software, optical character recognition, basically text to speech. This is the main function, arguably the main function of the devices. They will take a picture of printed text and then read it out loud to you. Both devices do that and they do it very, very well. Both devices will take a picture of a full document or a, a street sign or something and read it out loud start to finish. Both devices also have a way to fine tune that reading area and read certain selections of text. Think of the example, you're reading a menu. You don't wanna read the whole menu, you only wanna read what kind of salads they have. Both devices can do that. And something else to mention is the text recognition is offline text recognition, which is really cool. You don't need to be connected to the internet for that to work. Both devices also have barcode scanning. 
So you can scan the barcode on a product and the device will read out loud what the product is. And then finally, both devices do the smart reading. Smart reading is OrCam's new text-to-speech on steroids, basically. <laughs> it's their, it's their text-to-speech that uses AI, artificial intelligence, and allows you to interact with the text. So instead of just having it read top to bottom, it will do that, but you can also go in and pull out certain information. You can request for it to only tell you the phone numbers for example, and it'll tell you how many phone numbers it sees and it will read them out loud. You can also do that with values. For example, if you're reading a phone bill, you can find out exactly how much you owe without having to listen to all the other stuff. So really cool technology. I'm excited to see where it goes in the future. That being said, both devices, the Read and the My Eye, can do the smart reading. But unfortunately, that is where it ends with the similarities. If you want some more advanced features, you're gonna have to ditch the read and go to the My Eye. Some of those features include money identification, color identification, product identification, facial recognition, so really, really cool stuff. Let me elaborate a little bit. The money, obviously you can scan a dollar bill and it will tell you it's a dollar bill. The colors, very similar. You can point at a certain color and it will tell you what that color is. Product and facial recognition are kind of similar. The product recognition, firstly, you can program your favorite products into the, the device, the My Eye. And then when you're out shopping, if it sees that product, it will let you know. Facial recognition, kind of similar. If you just out and about, it'll tell you how many people are in front of you. And then you can also program faces into the device. Hey, Sam. Your neighbor, Van. Hey, Van, what's up, man? Awesome, nothing big. All right, see you, man. <laughs> see you, buddy. Really cool feature, has the potential to be very helpful in certain situations. And then finally, the My Eye can also do scene recognition. Uh, basically, you can ask it what's in front of you and it will do its best to tell you what's around you or what's in the environment. What's in front of me? A chair in the center and a screen to the right and a table to the right. So that is it, guys. That is the basic list of differences and similarities between the OrCam Read and the OrCam My Eye. That's most of them. There's a couple little things here and there. Like I mentioned, the My Eye can tell you the time and date. Well, the Read will do that also, just you have to use a voice command to get that information. Uh, they both also have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The Bluetooth allows you to connect to audio devices and including hearing aids. So like I said, there's some extra things here and there, but that's really the bulk of what these guys can do. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and found it helpful. Like I said, hopefully somebody can use this information to decide which OrCam might be the best option for them. But that is it for this one, guys. As always, Sam with the Blind Life, I will see you next time.